Welcome, everyone, to the Horror Cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings, all. All right, so I saw this article tonight, and I'm like, here's the thing. Back in the day, Salem's Lot was like one of my favorite yeah. movies, okay? It was awesome. It was terrifying. It was crazy for the time that it was filmed, what, in the 70s? Was it in the 70s? Yeah, around the 70s, 80s, yeah. Yeah, so now James Wan is going to be producing an adaption of Stephen King's Salem's Lot for New Line Cinema, which we know that James Wan does all the, I believe he's the one who does The Conjuring and all that yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, I'm trying to remember he had anything, because I think he's got one which has to do with the Gemini Man. I might be wrong on that standpoint. I, I don't know about that, but I, that's the one Will Smith, right? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm talking like the horror thing though. He I does know, a lot of horror. If he was, uh, if he did that one too, but I can't remember. I looked that up. Um, so I think he he would knock it out of the park because he knows he how would. to scare the oh, shit God, out of people. He definitely knows how to scare shit out of people. Yes. So I would definitely go see that. with you? Definitely. Yeah. Um, and this is another thing. It's like. The, the way they spend money on these horror movies lately, right? They spent a little amount, yeah. and the thing is just like, if, if I could bring up an example with Pet Cemetery, um, let's just see here. Pet Cemetery, they only spent, okay. Call me a liar now. One second. Okay, here we go. Pet Cemetery, it's taking forever. Okay, Pet Cemetery, they only spent twenty-one million dollars, and they made ninety-six. <laughs> so these horror movies, if you spend a little, like they they make huge mm -hmm. profits. Horror is in again. Horror yeah. is in. And they use and they use very little. They just use practical effects in the half movie. So right now is the time to make horror movies. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to get a Friday the 13th out if they can get this lawsuit mm -hmm. nonsense done. Now is the time. Like Halloween 2, whatever they're going to call it, Chucky's coming out, a new Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, go nuts because horror is in. There are yes. times when horror is not in. This is the time that horror is in. Yep. Definitely do a horror flick now. So, you know. And I got to tell you something. I, the other night. And when you do it, put it out. Uh, not against one of these big showrunner movies everybody's looking for. Gr I mean, Grant, I can understand people want to break from uh, the comic book movies and all these big movies. But hold off. Time it just right so it's not going against some big wig movie you know full well is going to steal half your budget. Um, yeah. I actually threw up an idea for another Friday the 13th, like a one-off movie. That it would be phenomenal. But I just gotta like write it up and everything and I'll I'll tell you probably tomorrow. But, it, you know, just like making just say one, because before in the past, I wrote a treatment for like three movies. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, I did a trilogy thing, like okay. But if I was just gonna do a one-off, I think it's, it's a unique idea, but I'll talk mm -hmm. about it on the horror cast, probably tomorrow or weekend or whatever. So I gotta like get it all just right yeah, up. in your brain and yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, it, it, it's a thing too that if I say it, someone's gonna steal it. So yeah, yeah, that's another thing. I, <laughs> people do take things when you say things. So you know, uh, okay. So um, the, the other day we talked briefly about the Full Moon Entertainment movie. Oh, what yeah. we didn't touch upon was we both watched the video. Um. And this is a, they are making 10 films by yep. 10 directors. And they're doing it for, which I wasn't aware that they have a section on Amazon Prime, like a channel yep. or whatever. Yeah, I just found that out. Yeah, Tons of content. So this is where they're getting the money from. Amazon is hooking them up. So that's a nice piece of change to spend money for 10 films. Oh, God, yes. And I'm going to tell you right now. Didn't they say it's like they're going to take you behind the scenes for 10 days each? You're also going to have them all released the same day or something yeah. like that. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that what's going to happen is this is going to be so successful they're going to do another 10 films. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to do another Puppet Master, I'm pretty sure. But I'm excited about that because I like it when Full Moon is on top again. Yeah. And start to pop out content. That, that is awesome. So I'm on board. Uh, let's see. What else? At least Puppet, uh, uh, Puppet Master's got Blade doing the spin-offs. But yeah. I, I just want to see, you know. Oh, boy. Hellboy is just... Tenth place still. It just oh, made God. twenty million, bro. It just made twenty million. It's pathetic. Oh, a curse of La Llorona. That is the oh. fifty-seven million. That that's love that best. movie. Love that movie. Love that movie. Wow. I want to take a peek at the horror thing because I want to see. We know Avengers is this week, but I want to see when we have. Um, we have, you know, of course, Chucky coming up. Yeah. We got Brightburn coming up. Yeah, which is a twist on Superman. Yeah. And we got um, An- Annabelle, you know. Uh, Annabelle is home or whatever that. What is it called? Yeah. Annabelle comes home or some shit, uh, whatever. Yeah. That's Annabelle good. comes home. Yeah. So and that comes out in June. And then in July... Uh, we got a thing called Crawl. That's a horror. We got The Boy 2, which nobody was really asking for that. I don't know. I guess I made enough money to get a sequel. They're turning New Mutants into a horror movie, which we know that. I'm not crazy about that. There's that Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. That's coming out. Um, yeah, I know It Chapter 2, 47 Meters Down Uncaged. Yes, Billy, I got the title right. This dumb bitch. <laughs> uh, you could say that that Rambo is a horror movie because he turns into a cowboy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Damn. damn. Oh, man. All right. Um, what else? I'm trying. I'm just trying to see the rest of the movies for this year for horror. Computer's being very slow. Doctor Sleep we got this year. Yeah. Um, when Knives Out is a thriller, right? Like a drama thriller. Yeah. yeah. Bloomhouse is coming out with something on December 13th, but we don't know what it is still. Um, I saw the, I saw the, tra- I know I saw a trailer for Blades Out. Now I can't even remember what it's about. You know what? I, we, we talked about this, I think, months ago. They were playing cat people a lot lately. That was from like way back in the day. Yeah. And I always wondered, like, why don't they just reboot that? Yeah. You know? Or even reboot Life Force. Remember, like, the freaking yes. sexy vampires from space and shit? Yes. Because I think I saw, that I saw the entire thing or I saw the last 30 minutes of it on HBO. That could have made sequels, totally. That is like the biggest. That to me is the biggest missed opportunity ever because that was a great flick. Definitely, you know. But because I mean, they ran they ran uh, transfers through the mill with all the remakes and that. It was what eight, seven? I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, I like that too. That was cool. Yeah. All right, guys. So we will be trying to pop out more horror stuff. I'm gonna try to. I'm actually going to try to watch. Um, unfriended to tonight. <laughs> is Jake Paul in that? I think it is, right? Ah, I, I, don't, I don't know. The dark web. I gotta watch. I gotta. I'm gonna watch that tonight yeah. or tomorrow. That first one. I was not that. Uh, it was. Yeah, I didn't, I mean, you know what? It made tons of movie one. for being a Skype movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. All right, guys. Take care. Bye for now.